Okay, so morning guys to another episode of The Viking Beard. Amazing titles with me, Matt, in which as you probably know, I'm trying to grow a big Viking-esque sort of beard, match the sort of style I'm trying to grow my hair in at the moment. And as a newbie trying to grow a beard for the first time, I'm trying to source various different products from a beard, as in oils, balms and stuff like that. Stuff for my skin and stuff for my hair as well to make me look good, because let's face it, with a face like this, I need all the help that I can get. Now, in all the reviews that I am doing, I'm giving you my 100% honest opinion, okay? I'm not gonna big up companies just for the sake because they've sent me a free pot of something through just to have a look at, try and review. So these are honest, in my opinion, reviews, okay? Now, the stuff that I might like, you might not like, and the stuff that you don't like, the stuff might be the stuff that I like. So opinions are cool because everyone's got different opinions and they're all entitled to our own. Now today, I've had something sent through to me that's quite special. This is either gonna go one of two ways. This is either gonna be awesome, magnificent stuff, or this is gonna be like, oh God, this isn't good. I'm not gonna use this ever again. And this was sent through to me kindly by the people at The Pure Collection in London. And this is beard oil, so obviously goes on your beard. And whilst we're doing this review, we're gonna talk about the packaging, the product itself, some of the ingredients that are in it, the price point of it, whether it's any use or not. And then at the end of it, gonna score it at 10, 10 being absolutely fantastic and zero being don't touch this with a dirty stick. So first of all, we're gonna talk about the packaging. Now, kind of matte black cardboard box, gold writing on it, some of the ingredients on it. Beard oil organic, which is nice because you want organic stuff. You don't want chemicals and stuff all over your skin and face. Well, I certainly don't. And so nice to hear that it's organic. So brown box. And this is private blend. Ooh. So opening up the packaging. Inside we've got some black paper straw. You can see that. And the bottle itself. Matte black bottle, gold writing. Interesting looking pipette on the top and squeezer. Very nice packaging. Glass bottle, which is nice. Not the usual plastic ones that you get through. And I like that. If I one day got a penthouse suite or something like that, kind of the sort of thing you want on your shelf if you're driving Ferraris and stuff like that. So it's a good looking bottle. But as we know, packaging doesn't count. Because although stuff looks really nice, what's inside is what really matters. And you sometimes find that with cheaper brands that can't really afford or other brands that can't afford these sort of luxury sort of looking bottles and stuff like that the product is sometimes better than the expensive looking stuff and sometimes the expensive stuff isn't as good same way you wouldn't go out and spend a 200 bot pound on a bottle of champagne if what's well, inside was coca-cola so but other than that it's really nice packaging and bottle do like it I have to admit very classy looking and very nice. These guys are from Regent Street in London, and like I said, the review on this, I'm not affiliated with them, so this is exactly what I think, okay? Now, let's talk about some of the ingredients in this. This has got some expensive sounding ingredients. It's got Rose Otto, Oud, Oud, which is Agarwood, Agarwood, depending on how you want to pronounce it, oil in it, and it's the real stuff and not just the scent from it. We've also got sandalwood, prickly pear, baobab, and this is from the Pure Collection, Regent Street, London. So I've been using it a couple of times, okay? So this isn't the first time that I've had it out the packaging because when you've got something like this, I don't want to just suddenly go, yeah, put it on the face, yeah, it's fine, great. So I do, I have wanted to try this. So opening it up, we'll give it a smell. Na, 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 na. Nice little pipette bottle, little pipette on it. You can definitely smell that oud, oud, depending on how you want to call it and where you come from, which is agar wood. And it's a rich blend. 
it's a very rich smelling stuff, but at the same time, it's very delicate. So although you can smell it, it's not kind of one of those overpowering up your nose and knock your brains out of your head sort of smell. So it's a very kind of pleasant, almost masculine sort of smell, you know. I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of Arabia and that sort of thing. Now the stuff inside the bottle, it's a rich sort of ambery yellow colour. Put a few little drops on the hand. Because with this stuff, apparently you don't need much. And one thing I do notice with this, as soon as I put it on the hand, you get some oils that are very thin, and as soon as you put it, you're kind of like, oh, trying to get it. But this is a thicker oil, and you don't need particularly much of it. I haven't put anything on the beard yet this morning. Not particularly greasy, light sheen and shine. Let's get it through the old face fur. <laughs> I'm not worried particularly about my beard style at the moment because it's developing, like I said, this S kink, but I'm just growing it out because different is good. You don't want to be the same as everything else. So let's do that. Get the old beard comb through it. Okay. Now, one thing that I have to say, and better screw the bottle on this first, otherwise I'm going to knock it over. One thing I have to say about this product is it absorbs very, very quickly. Some oils you get, you put on your beard, and you almost kind of get that greasy shine all over it, like you're falling into a deep fat fire. With this, I don't seem to get. Now, I haven't had any problems with my skin so far, dry, flaky skin. My skin feels soft underneath, but my beard itself, does feel softer. It's got a slight amount of styling to it, but not too much, because as we know, oil's mainly for your hair and your beard and not so much styling, because you've got all your balms and stuff out there for that. Now, one thing I do like about this is because it's a rich scent, but it's also a delicate scent. I have noticed that when I've been outside with this, occasionally get a breeze or something like that, not at the moment because it's ridiculously hot outside, but you do occasionally get that kind of waft. And it's quite nice. And although it's not necessarily a scent that I would possibly go out for myself and buy because I'm into kind of like my woody outdoorsman and the sweeter kind of spice stuff, this is quite a nice smell. And you can't really judge something by how it smells because it's what you're putting on your beard that counts. Because I don't want to go out and buy chemicals and stuff, put in my beard, irritate my beard, beard starts falling out, beard druff and stuff like that. I want something that's good for my beard. So it's kind of what's inside comes first and the smell of it actually really kind of should come second. Although I am after that ultimate smell and scent. That's, it's a nice smelling stuff. And like I say, my beard is feeling softer. I've had a few applications of this. My beard's feeling softer, it's feeling nice. It's easily absorbed into my skin and my hair and not particularly greasy. And the cool thing with this is you don't need a lot of it. it a little seems to go a long way, which is just as well because that leads me on to the next part of the review, price point. Now this stuff, isn't cheap by any stretch of the imagination. I wasn't expecting it to be. 10 mils, and they're your small bo smaller bottles, 28 pounds. The 50 mil bottle, 98 pounds. Now that's a lot of money in my book, it might not be to anyone else. So this is one of the high end sort of things. You got your kind of your low, your medium, and your high end. This I would say is high end. This is not something that I would want to knock off the shelf. So this would kind of have its own little place and anyone goes near it, I'd kind of scream at them. So it's a lot of money. Now, is it worth it? Bearing in mind that the products contained within this are organic. They're real and not just scents, like say the Oud, Oud, Argerwood, Agarwood, however you want to pronounce it, Sandalwood, Prickly Pear and Rose Art Oak. I know aren't cheap ingredients to you, excuse me. <coughs> I ain't got to start the cold coming. So it is expensive stuff. Would 
I go out and buy this? To be honest, possibly. I'm not sure that I could go out and spend £98 every few months and go out and buy a bottle of this. But then at the same point, I sit there and think to myself, it is good. It absorbs into my skin. It's decent stuff, so I'm not putting chemicals on it. I know that some of the ingredients in it are expensive and they're not the cheap knockoff scents like I've been saying. So I think it's, it's okay for the money because sometimes in life you pay for what you get. So if you buy something cheap, sometimes it's nasty, sometimes you buy something expensive and it's worth what's inside. And I think this is possibly, in my opinion, one of those rare times when you go out and you spend a lot of money on something and it's actually really good and you're kind of buying the real deal as opposed to just buying the name of something. Because I'm not being funny, I'd never actually heard of the Pure Collection before and had I been looking through the website and stuff at the various products and seen the prices of it, I probably wouldn't have touched it and wouldn't have gone for it knowing that I could have spent the same amount of money and bought three or four, maybe three different sorts of things that do this possibly the same sort of thing. But trying it, I have found it to be actually really good. And I would like to say that I go out and get myself another bottle of this at some point if I'm feeling flush and anniversary and stuff like that. And plus it's good for my beard and my skin and everything. So I think it's quite a good product. I know it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea and we're all on budgets and stuff like that. And I'm not just saying that I would go out and buy this because this was sent free through to me to review and trying to give you guys my honest opinion. But I would say, yeah, it's it's worth the money. Now, we're marks out of 10. Let's pull this back in again because I don't want to knock it off the shelf because... Otherwise, I'm going to have to smear my face along the floor in order to get it in my beard. And that's not something I want to do. So I put it back in this protective little box. Okay, now, would I go out and buy this? Yeah. Marks out of 10. You know what? I'm not going to give this a 10 out of 10. Purely because... I think it's one of those really luxurious things that's worth the money and everything else. But the ingredients are absolutely spot on. It's real stuff in there. It's not chemicals. I'm going to rate this a 9.5, which is high. Now, like my last video, I'm, I'm not slating this in any way, shape or form. The scent for me. It's not that sort of scent that I'm after in a beard balm or beard oil. Because like I say, I like my sort of vanilla-y sweet sort of smelling stuff. And I like my real outdoorsy, woody sort of smell. But as a product on the whole, it's good. So 9.5. And that's purely on my niggly thing of if it smells like I want it then. But as a whole, absolutely brilliant. Lovely stuff and thank you guys to Pure Collection in London Regent Street for sending us through. I would definitely give it a go if I got if if I was you because it, it's good stuff. <coughs> Excuse me again. Now I'm gonna provide links down below to the Pure Collection so you can go check them out on their website and on their Instagram and everything. Definitely give them a look up because it's a good product and it you want that nowadays. You want decent stuff in your face and not cheap chemicals and stuff so good stuff so please guys feel free to comment in the box down below this was my honest opinion please feel free to subscribe like share whatever you do with youtube nowadays because i haven't got a clue because i'm old and follow me on my instagram as well but thank you guys i hope that's been a bit of help to you i'm now going to put that on the shelf and kind of admire it from a distance but thank you guys well i hope you have a fantastic day here please join me for another video stay safe love each other keep growing your beards love you guys thank you take care bye